Oh my god. My mentor is going to kill me, y'all. When I tell you, kill me for making this video. Mama, let y'all in on an Instagram secret real quick, okay? What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Tech Wana, and today we're back with another video. Woo -woo! If you're new here, hey sis or hey bro, over here we drop the business tea for free. <laughs> and today, you guys, y'all, I'm not gonna be a little happy in the video, okay? So disclaimer, but today, y'all, we are discussing three reasons why your phone kiss business is feeling right now i really want to come back and give y'all some knowledge some things that i learned these past months and you know drop it for y'all for free okay <laughs> so let's get straight into this video the first thing number first of all if your feelings get hurt easily this video is not for you okay it's literally not for you because I'm gonna feel it's gonna feel like I'm I'm screaming at you guys. But sometimes you need someone to scream at you because y'all not y'all not listening. I see people doing ish that I explained in my videos a whole year ago not to do. Like y'all not listening to me, okay? So this is the last video I'm doing for free, dropping this knowledge like this, okay? Reason number one. You, your phone case business is failing because I assume you're watching this video because your phone case business is either failing or not doing as well that you want it to be doing. So the reason number one your phone case business might be failing is because you lack originality. Okay, I'm gonna ruffle some feathers in the room right now. Like seriously, if you're looking around to see what everybody else is doing and not focusing about your brand, you're sticking to your branding colors, sticking to phone cases that's within your brand style, the products that's in your brand itself too, it's gonna be overwhelming, to be honest. Because if you don't have that tunnel vision, and now I'm worrying about what Kissify is doing, I'm worrying what Velvet Caviar is doing, I'm worrying about what Walmart is bringing out, you're not sticking to who your business really is. Why customers keep coming back to your business? Whether it's your customer service, whether it's the specific phone case that you have or the specific whatever product you're selling that you have. If I see Susie is over there. We both have phone case businesses. Susie is over there selling pens. She said, you know what? I'm gonna sell some pens because I think they go well with phone cases and who doesn't need a pen? So now I'm watching over there, Stacy. Like, hmm, I see Stacy over there selling pens, and I have a phone case business too. So why can't I sell pens? And then now I introduce pens to my customers, and they're like, whoa, we didn't ask for pens. All we asked for is phone cases, different phone case styles. You know, focus your money and your development and your creativity on different phone case styles, different phone grip styles, different AirPod case styles. You know, don't sway away from who your brand is to make a quick money, to make quick cash, okay? And also, I see a lot of people is copying. <sighs> Let me calm down. <laughs> All right, so the more that you focus on other people's phone case business is taken away from your creativity. Your ideas have to come from within you, either from your marketing team or somebody on your team that's giving you ideas. Don't use other people's ideas and try to market it as your own. Cause that now is wishy-washy. Now, now you're not very unique or creative in a way because I already know Trisha has a phone case business that sells this phone case style. Also, I see now Margaret is selling this phone case style as well. Now I see Amanda is selling the same phone case style as well. Hmm, who do I pick? Who <laughs> now it's like who do I pick? You know, because nobody is like the original owner. Even though, even though you can be inspired by other people's stuff, it's always good to put your own twist on it. For instance, this might come off as petty, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm just joking. But seriously, I have, I can't count on my fingers. It have to be like, I'm gonna count for you how much. It, it have to be like more than ten people that i saw they don't hide it like it have to be more than 10 people that i seen with my business card well i want to say my business cards but inspire business cards off of me i made these business cards long time ago actually because what was it 20 
I want to say 2017, 2018, whenever the iPhone XS Max came out and I started my company, I made this business card because I say, hey, I have an iPhone XS Max and I have a, sorry y'all, my phone because it's kind of dirty. I have an iPhone XS Max right now because I had just bought this and this is how, this is what inspired me to make a phone case, a uh, business card like this. So I was like, hey, I have an iPhone XS Max right now and a phone case company. Why don't I just make my business card like this? Okay, 20, 2017, 2018. Now I'm not gonna say I'm like the original owner of a, a iPhone business card, whatever. But I did see an iPhone business card before, but it honestly wasn't even for a phone case company. It was, I think it was a barber or something that gave me his card. And that was a long time ago. Anyway, more of the story. Moral of the story is, I've seen people who, I tell you, they copy this exact same format. I'm talking about we are in 2021. Why am I seeing people that have this exact phone case card with um one camera on it? That's how I know, like, you're not even thinking, like, you're not even, you're just doing what you see other people is doing. You're just following other people businesses because you're not even thinking why are you going to go to your graphic designer or whoever and say hey can you make me a phone case business card that look exactly like this no okay say hey i'm inspired by this phone case business card or should i drop it we got another one i'm inspired by this phone case business card but as you can see it's an iphone xs max and we are in 2021 so the latest iphone right now is iphone 12. so what does the iphone 12 have the iPhone 12 has four cameras or three cameras or how much cameras it is. So there's no way you should be making phone case business cards like this. Be inspired, but don't be so inspired that you don't think for yourself and say, hey, how can I put my own twist on this and come out with it looking brand new? Like I created the idea, you know? If I was to do redo this design like right now, I literally will, like I said, make this with three cameras. And then I will either put like my Instagram on there, like the Instagram feed on there. I'm giving y'all ideas. I'm giving y'all ideas, okay? Because I'm tired of seeing this card. I'm I I about I don't even give these cards out anymore because I'm tired of seeing it. <laughs> like I'm tired of seeing other people with it. Okay, I will either put up my Instagram feed on there, my TikTok feed on there, you know, a picture of it and not have it like this. Anyway. That was the moral of the story. <laughs> so that was like number one. Um, let me reiterate, lacking originality. You have to find what is going to make your brand unique out of all these brands. Like you already know, um, small businesses is crazy out here. Like it's popping up every day. A new one is popping up every day. What is going to make your brand unique and stand TF out, okay? <laughs> out of all these brands okay wait don't skip this ad if you're watching this video right now it's most likely you're interested in starting a phone case business I created a phone case business tips ebook helping entrepreneurs making six figures in a few months baby the receipts is in the book okay <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right above here so you can see you can click below if you want to purchase it um that's it so I guess you can skip now or buy the book. <laughs> Bye. Okay, number two. Let's talk about social media. I think I said this multiple times before. You don't have to juggle so much social medias when you're starting out or when you're running your business. You're on Instagram. Okay, it's good to claim all your accounts. Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, um, what else? Facebook, whatever, whatever but don't get overwhelmed with growing all of it at once so if you see instagram your instagram is picking up more than tiktok and or if your tiktok is picking more, up more than instagram feed whatever is picking up the fastest and worry about growing the other one okay <laughs> that way you don't get overwhelmed because i seriously been there done that and i literally get overwhelmed like oh my gosh my tiktok it's growing so fast when my Instagram been dead for years or my Pinterest is blowing up and I don't give a fuck about Instagram or TikTok because you know Pinterest is the GOAT <laughs> period if you have consultations with me or if you're in my uh, mentorship program you already know like Pinterest is the secret and I give y'all tips on how to use it <laughs> okay 
Yeah, I don't know how y'all take me seriously. While we are on the topic of social media, you shall not be hard selling every single moment, every single post you post on social media, okay? If you're posting three times a day, let's say you're posting three times a day, one time in a day you're gonna post behind the scenes. You packing orders, you um accepting you going through reviews something behind the scenes of your business you making phone cases you going through inventory you packing inventory something that helps me relate to you something that makes me trust you that i know for sure if i order from you you're working hard behind the scenes to get me my order period number two you can either post a funny content or a shareable content something that's the type of content not to necessarily sell your product but it's to bring in more followers more interactions more saved posts you know because once you have that on instagram or tiktok it's telling the algorithm hey i show susie on um, taylor tech shop posts and she liked it or either shared it on her story or saved it so when taylor tech shop posts again I'm gonna show Suzy all the future posts. And I don't know if you guys know that Instagram specifically only shows your posts to 10% of your followers. So if you go through, oh. oh my God. My mentor is going to kill me, y'all. When I tell you, kill me for making this video. Mama, let y'all in on an Instagram secret real quick, okay? If you're on Instagram and you're wondering why most of the followers you have on Instagram is a either not seeing your posts or they're actually seeing your posts and not buying your products is because the wrong audience is seeing your posts. Let me repeat that for the ones in the back. <laughs> this is what I do, okay? I'm gonna tell you what I do. As you know, I'm tech with not, whatever you want to call me. But I also have a business, Taylor Tech Shop. Taylor Tech Shop is catered to people who want to buy phone cases. Many, I get many people who either have a phone case business or have a business in general that is starts to follow my, um, what I want to say business in general, but let's say you have an other phone case business and you following my page, my business page. Now I'm like, girl, no offense but i don't want you following my page because if instagram is showing you if because if instagram picks you to be a part of that 10 percent who sees my post on me um selling phone cases you're not gonna buy i already know you're not gonna buy because we're selling the same thing so why am i keeping you as a follower as one of my followers and include for instagram to include you in the 10 percent and you're not gonna buy no phone cases it's all about sales so i'm gonna remove you as a follower and i do that from time to time and people get upset but i'm like whatever follow me at tech or not if you want if you want hit me up follow me at tech or not because i don't want to be promoting phone cases to other phone case business owners you know it makes no sense so, so from time to time when i sit on my phone in a board i say let me go through my followers and see how much people with phone case businesses is following me okay and that's how you refresh your followers keep your followers nice and clean that way when regular people follow you instagram is definitely able to show them your posts you know and you're able to get more sales that way and, and people might say when i tell people this too like my mentors my mentees and everything they're like oh but i'm not gonna lose so much followers like it's not about the followers do you want sales or followers let me know if you want followers i really can't help you i can teach you how to make followers to, to be honest go do that follow for follow you know like comment to say hey girl follow this 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 and this but who tell you those are the correct followers those people are not your target audience that's why you're not making any sales okay <laughs> but let me stop yapping because as i start getting the preaching i'm sorry to preach so moving on to the final the final final reason that you guys may not be making sales is it might sound simple but I'm gonna tell you because you need to hear it You're not posting content. did you guys hear it let me say it again You're not posting content. let me say it long you're not posting content 
You're, I'm, how am I supposed to know that I have my glow queen right here? If you guys go support glow queen gloss, I'm gonna leave her stuff in my description. Anyway, how are you guys supposed to know that you came out with a new lip gloss line if you're not posting about it? Okay, you post it. You post one time. I say, hey, I came out with this. Well, let me use my phone case since this is a phone case video. Y'all, excuse my case. It was in my black pants and like the it have marks on it and everything. But anyway, so let's say this ring light case, right? You post it one time. Hey, you guys, this is a ring light case. I just came out with with it. Please go buy it. Thirty days goes by and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not making any sales with this ring with this ring like place it's because you never promote it again okay so even before you even launch a product you need to be promoting this product you need to be making content and posting content a whole two weeks before a whole or at least a week before posting content every day that either hits on this one product okay so if i'm coming out with this case let's say next week friday and today is friday and I say, hey, you guys, next week, Friday, I'm coming out with this, with this best product ever, this ring light case. Let me show you guys what it do. You click on it. It turns on. It flips up. Da, 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 da. That's Friday, okay? Next day, it's Saturday. Hey, you guys, a few more days till this case comes out. Look how sturdy it is. You can drop it. It still works. You can be in the club like this. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It's coming out in a few days, you guys. Next thing. Hey, you guys, did I mention that this case will be coming out in four different colors? But the other three colors are limited edition. I have pink, blue, white, and black. Come on. And then put up a poll as an interactive poll. Which color you think you'll get? When a person say, I'm getting pink I'm, or getting black or whatever, you slide in the DMs when the product launch. Hey, Stacy, I just want to let you know that the product launch and here's, you know, 5% or 10% off so you can get that color that you really wanted. Remember, it's limited quantity. <sighs> I don't just want um, to fight y'all because. <laughs> <sighs> If you don't post you don't make sales and if you not making sales and you still not posting then you like to be broke period and that's all oh thank you for coming to my TED talk <laughs> I'm just joking but that is the end for this video you guys if you find any of this information valuable please leave it a like or either a comment and tell your girl okay and try one of these strategies in your business and let me know if it helped you you guys if you want even more help i do have my kiss renewers mentorship program down in the description y'all when i tell you it's lit over there i literally give them tips every single day to run a successful phone case business okay i drop courses on there i go live on in there it's it's, it's like a phone case business community exclusive <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in another video bye <laughs> make sure to subscribe okay bye